We skip ahead in the book. This chapter is called Rick. Rick. Rick, he seemed to inhabit his skin like an old couch, like it was something big and comfortable and well-worn, and he invited everyone in sight to roll around in it with him. His name was Rick, and he was the most undiscriminating man I'd ever met. His charms lay scattered about him like spoiled buckshot, aimed at anything that moved. He was an egomaniac without an ego, a shameless bully who flattered anyone he thought was better than himself, which included almost everyone. And when all else fails, he would decide to go to bed with you. He just wanted to be everyone's friend, kind of, which mostly meant he didn't have any at all. The person I used to be wouldn't have noticed Rick if he was the last one standing on the island, but the new me, or at least the person I was releasing in strangled bits of foreign dinners, clamped onto Rick and wouldn't let up. There would be no whim too gray, no service too low, that I couldn't perform with a smile. We met at the Speedomatic Laundry, which wasn't very matic, and certainly wasn't speedy. Rick had staggered to the door with a year's worth of sweat and smell straining out of a garbage bag, which burst as he tried to ease it through the small broken entrance, which seemed especially designed, like the Speedomatic itself, to discourage all comers. 